do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done it. He held on to it, but he probably shouldn't have as they get him behind the line. On second and 15 now, Jackson. Well, they have had success when he keeps the ball running it, but not in that situation. I mean, I think we got an example of why NFL coaches. There he goes, left side. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Touchdown! Lamar Jackson. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Now Prescott going to take a shot for Gallup. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a camper on this game. So a little icing on the cake. This is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? you there he goes, left side. Touchdown, Cowboys. Touchdown. Tony Pollard. His third touchdown now. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Fourth down, Prescott. He'll buy some time right. He can run, and he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott. Oh, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overnight. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown? Again. 
of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll try to throw now. Prescott connects here with the tight end, Blake Jarwin. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. I enjoyed watching Robert Quinn in pregame warm-ups with you down on the field. Did it surprise you how tall and angular he is? You wouldn't think he'd be able to play against the run that well, would you? But he can, and he showed it right there, didn't he? That's that wrestling background he has. He understands leverage as well as anyone in the game. A big-time wrestler in high school. He didn't lose very often. Three-time heavyweight state champ in South Carolina. And he's got his target. That's more. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. Here go, here go. Single, 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 single. On first down, it's Newton. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To the air again, Newton. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. They've made goal line offense a priority on the practice field this week. This is exactly the situation they've been prepping for. And he finds his man, the tight end Olsen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight. Yard gain, second and two. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Again, Newton. And that will be caught by Moore. He's got a Panthers touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Things could just not have started any better for them. They get the turnover, the football right away, able to capitalize on offense for six. And we're talking about setting a tone in any game, right? The first points of a ball game. How about during the playoffs? Vitally important, and they've done that in this one. This is fielded at the goal line. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Let's go. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown 
That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Well, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. So many weapons on this offense, and we've seen them all season long score from any point on the field. But we all know playoff football comes down to playing smart. The game slows down, and it's harder to move it. So you've got to avoid penalties, avoid turnovers, and not let your emotions get the best of you. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. I don't think you got it, sir. A first down carry by Allian. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. On third down, it's Prescott sliding out of the pocket. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. On fourth, they do snap it to Prescott. This to Jarwin. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Draw play, Elliott. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Let's go, defense. Here's Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. Oh, design run for their wide out. And hit behind the lot. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Panthers have recovered. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their... Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down. To... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And they're able to pick up the first and keep possession. Stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Give him 32 on the play. And two big plays, one after the other. Now, all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done and now feel really good about what's in front of them. Back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little... Out 
is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They have time here, partner, for just one final heave. And I have to look at it from the defense's perspective here. We know what they're going to do on offense. The Hail Mary, try and get guys down there and throw it in the end zone, tip it around and catch it. You've got to have guys back there to defend that. But also, you can't allow the quarterback as much time as he wants to set up and throw it. Maybe you bring a little extra pressure to make sure he gets rid of it quicker. A little bit of a cat and mouse game. We'll see if they bring that pressure. And for all these guys, whether you're a rookie, a 10-year veteran, there's no feeling like this NFC champs. And you feel like family. Never at any time do you feel more like family than when you're sharing the joy of being the NFC champs. And now everyone gets to see. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.